everyone, my name is Eric. Thank you for joining me on One Smoker's Palette. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Thank you guys. Here we are once again for another uh, experiment into the Mexican San Andreas tobacco realm. Experiment is the right word because we have something special. This is a cigar um, that I do not carry in the humidor. Perhaps yet, maybe depending on how this review goes, maybe I will carry it. But this was given to me, a shout out to uh, Chip for letting me uh, review this cigar on the channel uh, as we experiment with Mexican San Andreas. So with that, I have with me today, this is the Tatawahe ME2 Bellicoso Box Press. Now originally as a bit of background, Tatawahe releases, they release cigars pretty quickly, sometimes without even announcing it or telling everyone that they're going to be releasing it coming soon. So they will just drop a cigar. That's Pete Johnson, of course. The ME2 is a follow-up to the original ME, which is Mexican Experiment. As the name suggests, the wrapper leaf is San Andreas Maduro. So the ME2 is a follow-up to that, released not too long ago, but this is a part of a core line, so it's not a limited series. Um, but with that stated, we have a very special cigar. I have never smoked this myself. We're gonna get right into this, giving a cut, lighting it up, and seeing where it lands us. Ooh, really, really dense coffee notes. Like immediately, there's a, definitely a coffee, a little bit of cocoa on the sweetness, and a little bit of uh, spice on the uh, lips, but definitely coffee forward. All right, so jumping right into it. This flavor is very different, very unique, but all in the good ways. As I say, there is that coffee and the coffee transported into the smoking experience itself. There is a little bit of sweetness to it as well. And the only thing I can think of is like a like a very traditional um, earthy tobacco-y taste. In other words, as crazy as that sounds, because cigars are tobacco, some have more stronger tobacco notes to it than others. For instance, sometimes you can find a denser cigar like this that kind of transports that, whereas a Connecticut may not have as many of those deep tobacco notes, but that's right off the bat. And this also, it's no uh, surprise to me that immediately when smoking it, if I was to akin, like what does that flavor remind me of when I light the cigar up, is it my father's cigar? And that of course being that a lot of these cigars uh, that Pete Johnson makes for Tatawahe come out of the my father factory, even though it's his tobacco and his blending. I'm gonna go ahead and take another uh, puff and see what uh, second impressions I can get. So I think the interesting thing to me is with the oiliness on it, the texture of this cigar doesn't necessarily remind me of a San Andreas, although it is. And the flavors, the strong flavors that I'm getting from it also is much darker and deeper. Last week, we reviewed the San Andreas uh, Neanderthal from Romacraft. This, I won't say is stronger, but it feels heavier, more meatier and uh, denser. So that is the beginning. Uh, I'm going to continue to smoke it and see where it lands us. All right, here we are, second, third. Unfortunately, the ash did fall off, but sometimes it's normal. Um, and I did have to kind of catch the wrapper up. The internal cigar was burning really well, and the outside wrapper, I don't really necessarily say it's gonna be construction. It may be the way it's humidified. Either way, smoking great now, and smoke output has definitely got better. As far as flavor-wise, still a distinct coffee bean flavor as we kind of like molded into the second third. There was some spice up front, but that's really gone down. There's a bit of uh, like dark bitter chocolate to it, like dark uh, cocoa, um, and still that earthy element, but coffee is the biggest thing I'm getting. Now I will say I enjoy the transition from leaving some of that spice in the back, However, I will say for the most part that coffee is really just kind of overtaken the entire cigar. So it's not incredibly complex so far, but uh, I'm gonna smoke it again. See second impressions. Yeah, still some of that. There's a bit more sweetness and the Retro Hill has a mild spice, more sweet than spicy though. 
Um, but right now I'm really enjoying it. Uh, we will see if it transitions at all as we get into the final third. Um, but I would say consistency is up there. And if, and if you like the flavors that I am describing, you're definitely going to probably want to check this cigar out. Uh, so I will continue to smoke it and let's see where we land on the final third. Well, here we are, final third. It's starting to burn a little bit wonky, but that's all right. It's not too bad. Um, and the ash fell off one more time. So coming into the close, um, I will say that the further we're getting into the cigar, it's unfortunately taking somewhat of a bitter turn. Um, and I don't know if maybe I'm smoking it quicker than some might. It's a bit toasty with a little bit of bitterness to it. Nothing too crazy, but it's definitely there. Um, and I will also say mouth like feel is a little bit on the dirtier side. I'm gonna go ahead and touch it up here. However, with those stated, I really enjoy the like the like denseness of the cigar. The strength level is gonna be in that medium plus the full. Um, I like the smoke output, draws really good. So I would say its higher points was in the beginning of the cigar. In the first third, I really enjoyed that complexity. Second third, I like that coffee going through. And then final third, right now is a little bit of that coffee dark cocoa, but on the bitter side of it. Not much sweetness left right now. So tallying all this up, taking this all in consideration, uh, this total score came out to be 75. So there you have it. This is our number three uh, that we have tried. And it's uh, taken the second place. Bonita, Bonita, Bonita was just behind it with a 74, uh, but it was not enough to dethrone the Neanderthal at 80. So 75, really good construction. I would say if you get a chance, go ahead and try the cigar. Really good. Um, and it's got some interesting transitions to it. So with that stated, uh, we continue and journey on in the One Smoker's Palette quest to find the ultimate San Andreas Maduro cigar. Thank you so much for watching and smoking along with me. As always, please drop in the comments suggestions of maybe something I should review, whether you've seen it here on the channel, whether we carry it or we don't carry it, and I will try to go ahead and seek that out. Maybe we'll see what else makes its way onto the channel. As always, an excellent experience. Thank you for hanging out with us here on Oakland Tobacconist.